Oh God. There we go. And we are live. So let's show off the Earth Island Colossal and give my thoughts on it. Hold on, let me move my icon real quick. I personally, I think the eyes are a bit scary. It's a, it's a bit frightening. Like, more so than Epic Noggin. I do think it's cool the fact that they made it look like Epic Noggin's eyes, but bigger. Let's go to Plant Island to see um, what time is it. That's my question. Uh, okay, we got a little bit until the premiere, which is fine. And this is the last monster I need for the Celestial and Celestial Island then gang, which is Ludwig. You might be wondering how I got Ludwig this fast, even though he was just discounted yesterday. Um, I got him this fast because I don't know if I ever told y'all this, but I have been saving up diamonds since I got Scaratar. And I ended up with around 300 diamonds, 320 I believe, and I spent all that towards getting Ludwig. And I'm pretty dang close. I just need one more monster, which will be done shortly. I should probably speed that up so that way y'all have some content, which is waking up a celestial. Okay, well, I'm gonna speed this up. I'm gonna pause the stream and speed this up. All right, um, I'm back. I just gotta wait a few seconds for this to finish. And then we can speed it up and then put the last egg into the Celestial. <sighs> I've been putting off getting Celestials for so long because in my opinion, the Celestials we're taking were a very hard inventory to fill up. But ever since the adult farms came out, something just sparked where I just had to continue getting Celestials, you know? Especially concerned the fact that on the live stream that a Celestial Ascension was introduced in basically said if y'all were in the live stream said that we had to get the Celestials now. What was previously marked down to to 80 diamonds is now only 40. And of course Excellent. when you place uh, a, a, a dormant Celestial uh, in its petrified form on Celestial Island for the first time you receive quite a generous diamond reward as well. So you're gonna be making some of those diamonds back yeah. immediately. Basically, Perfect. and I'm and I'm looking at the community <laughs> right now, I'm gonna take my glasses down for a second. There's no excuse. There's no excuse now. You gotta get Celestial yeah. on it. So I felt legally obligated to get them now. So, okay. Do that, 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 and bam. Revive. I've always loved this Celestial. Oh. I'm gonna turn up the volume. Right. Yeah, I like these two. I, I like that they do it with each other. I'm glad they do it with each other. I'm now gonna try to get adult Ludwig, which nerds... Oh. 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 Ew. You f... Oh, oh boy, that actually... Oh. Oh. Uh, oh. Uh. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> I'm excited for Torts Adult Farm next month, that's for certain. And now on to reacting to the new trailer that was released today. Up oh, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, begin! Okay. Okay. Yes, 11th anniversary. Hey, Handler Helpers, it's 
the Monster Handler map. Yes. On behalf of all of the Monster Handlers here at Big Blue Bubble, we would like to extend our profound appreciation and gratitude to you for joining us on this exciting 12-month journey that has been our anniversary year. Mm -hmm. It's been a busy time in the Monster world. New seasonal events and skins, Ultimate Creator Experience Mythicals, Colossal Conundra, Rare Wubblins, Finishing Amber Island, Epic Evolutions of the Crucible, Here's on the Call Single, Special Section! <sighs> And we've saved some extra special content for the big finale during September's anniversary month in version 4.0, arriving mm -hmm. on app stores next week. But before we begin, a few notes. The first thing you'll notice about version 4.0 is that we are using glorious new typefaces for all of our in-game interface and text elements. You first got a sneak peek during our Mind Boggle trailer. We oh. were due for a facelift. And we took the opportunity to select fonts that will improve accessibility for players with dyslexia and the overall legibility of in-game text in all of our supported languages. Okay. Speaking of languages, you can now change the game language directly from the options menu. Handy, huh? Yep. Unfortunately, no matter what language your game is set to, it still won't help Monster Handler Tyson be able to pronounce Stablo <laughs> Miehuricha. <laughs> okay, okay. Now we out of the way. We can really dig in. Let's hear a special report from Monster Handler Alley, host of the exploratory compendium of Monstrology series, on one of the most amazing discoveries in the history of the monster world. Mm -hmm. On one of my recent exchange visits to the monster world, I somehow gained access to the higher plane, Angled Island, and what I saw while I was there blew my mind. For the first time, a level 15 epic wall box for one of the natural. Wait, what? Hold on. What? Just like other Wubox, it will revert to its powered down box form, but not a box form we've ever seen before. To power up what? Hold what? Huh? Huh? Each elemental phase: cold, air, water, and earth. Epic monsters are extremely hard to come by, so this means that you'll be able to hear its song and witness its stunning transformation sooner. As more elemental phases are unlocked, the Epic Wubox will add more, uh, more musical parts to the Gold Island song, but it's not the only one. The seasonal jamboree can now be placed from season at level 15 on Gold Island. It was only fitting that this monster get a chance to perform alongside the balloons, confetti, and pageantry of the island's anniversary month seasonal island skin. And that's not all. The brand new epic jamboree is available to buy or breed for a limited time near oh, the beginning oh, and end I, I of the anniversary to, month. I need to calm down. Hold on. Hold on. This is so much. Journals, what? Something I really I say pages. Since there are so many monsters available to be placed on Gold Island, it has been divided in sub pages that track your common, rare, and epic collections. Not to be outdone, the Gold Island's higher plane counterpart, Amber Island, will be following the same book of monster format moving forward. Oh my God. Thanks, Monster Handler Alley. Hey guys, it's me, Monster Handler Charlie, host of Monster Mythos. And on the topic of mythos and myths, What's this I hear about a new mythical monster? One what? that the handler helper community helped design? Mm -hmm. What? No. No, they aren't revealing it right now. No way. No. Come on, come on. What is it? What is it? Please, please be cool. Please be cool. I've been waiting for... <gasps> Bazinga will soon be buzzing on both Firehaven and Mythical. That is so your cool! Make a mythical pull. This monster. So it's a part of the Humbug family. Is an insectoid and joins Humbug and Fung Prey as part of the. Yep. <laughs> only that it blends in with its surroundings and is asymmetrical. Now. The go with the flow bazinga is actually very important, not just to the monster world, but to the entire big blue bubble multiverse. In that, it acts as a pollinator for the world tree's flowers and helps create whole new dimensions. There you have it. Now you can stop bugging us about releasing it. <laughs> bugging? Because it's a bug? <laughs> that, never mind. What about Bazinga's dream mythical, you might ask? Ooh. That's a mystery we're keeping. Ah, uh, come on. Up next, Monster Handler Ben. Oh, sorry. I didn't see you there. I was too busy living my best life, listening to the full version of the DJ Epic Celestial Island remix uh -huh. and the brand new Mythical Island remix, featuring the full composition with all 15 monsters, a year in the making. These will debut on all major streaming platforms later in Anniversary Month. Me? I get to enjoy them now. Why? Because I'm a monster handler, that's why. <laughs> 
Another music-related point of interest in the mobile version of Update 4.0 is that you can now clear your recording studio recordings on a per-island basis. Oh. Before, you could only delete them all at once. Maybe you've made an absolute masterpiece on your plant island. Or whatever that is. But you want a clean slate on your cold island. 4.0 will let you do that. Simply tap on Recording Studio on Cold Island and select Clear, and your plant island composition remains untouched. Music to my ears. My time is up. Monster Handler Jen, what you got? Hey, Handler Helpers! Monster what? Handler Jen here to announce an exciting multi-part community challenge for anniversary month called Dropping Names. Over okay. the course of anniversary year, you've gotten to know a little more about the backstories of the colossal island spirits that inhabit the natural islands by completing their colossal conundra. Uh -huh. However, a mystery endures. What are their names? That's where you come in. Each week, we'll be posting three name options for the natural island colossals, and your votes will help to determine which one will be the official canon name. The Got power it. of democracy. The first of these polls will be going live on the game's official birthday on Monday, September 4th. We can't wait to start dropping names. Okay. Hello, Wendler Helpers, it's me, Monster Handler Tyson, and wow, we have covered a lot in this kickoff video, and we haven't even talked about the special promotions and offers that will be running all of Anniversary Month. Okay. Though I still feel like we are forgetting something. Mm -hmm. Huh. Mm -hmm. What could it be? Mm -hmm. <laughs> the plant colossal just granted me a vision of something amazing. I don't think it's going to be ready for a few months, but you have to see it. It was... Nah. Wait, wait, hold on. What was that? Of course, the map. That was the vision I had back oh. in December. We oh. originally planned to reveal a new and improved map during anniversary year. Oh. This feature is still in development by our Monster Handler team because we want it to be the very best it can be. But I can share some in-progress, behind-the-scenes alpha footage. Okay. First of all, I have news. For the first time ever, I can officially reveal that the monster is not a globe. It's oh. a Taurus, a, a donut. It's it's a donut. Oh, it's a, this hmm. unusual planet shape has been theorized as possible in the human world, but has never actually been observed. Notably, the monster world has not always been this shape. This is specifically the post Donna Fire era, after the breakup of the prehistoric continent shook the very foundations oh. of the monster world down to its core. This has been hinted at and planned for a while, from the design of the current carousel to this. Check this out. No, 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 this can't be happening. I had my seasonal shanty decorated exactly how I wanted it. Why? Why? No! I never even Our noticed monster that before. Healer cartographers and Spurs have worked hard to reconcile the existing maps across the years with this newfound knowledge, and have come up with a flattened Taurus map that displays the positions of all known islands in the monster world. Players will be able to navigate around the hand-drawn map and explore the connections between the various islands like never before. That's you can explore cool. the monster world by pinching the zoom, swiping, or dragging the mouse, or you can use the scrolling sidebar to highlight a specific island. That's when actually island is really cool. Important information like beds occupied and a more detailed breakdown of your collection progress in the Book of Monsters is displayed. We also plan to include greater visibility for active seasonal events. These features and details are subject to change and review, but we are very excited to be able to give you a first look of the new and improved map menu. There you go. There's your 4.0 kickoff video. We can't wait for you to explore all the new features and monsters in next week's update. And uh -huh. as per usual, we have a few more tricks up our sleeves over the course of September. Wait. Thank you so much for joining us on this amazing 11-year adventure to breed, they... feed, and Hold listen on. to them sing. We couldn't have done it without you. Happy monstering! Happy monstering. Okay. Hold on. So these are updates coming early September and none in October because it has been said that it's going to... Summer songs... Or not summer song. Um, anniversary month is going to be lasting until the very beginning of October. So that's like... Like, this is just mind-boggling. Okay, hold on. I need to go back to my Sea Monsters real quick. Okay, so this is where the video ends, and there will be a sequel video discussing my thoughts on everything that's coming this Wednesday, which will be posted tomorrow. I've already written the script, and yes, this is my first ever script. 
So, yay. <laughs> gonna be my first ever scripted video i don't know how i feel about this but yeah um the next video will be posted sometime tomorrow don't ask me when because i have no idea and yeah i'll be discussing my thoughts and everything there and yeah that's this video hope you enjoyed my reaction as well as me dang ludwig and that's it donna boy out <laughs>